Hey guys, welcome back to Film Sprinter. In today's video, we are going to talk about the top 10 best shots from Hell's Kitchen. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Kimberly Ann Ryan Kimberly Ann Ryan came in Hell's Kitchen to build a better life for her daughter. She proved that family is a powerful motivator when she won the series and a head chef position at the Venetian Hotel in Las Vegas. Ryan had her disagreements with Ramsay throughout the series. Well, her cooking was always of a high standard, but her skills to lead the kitchen was something that she developed during the different challenges. Danny Veltri Being one of the youngest winners of Hell's Kitchen, Danny Veltri felt that he had a lot of things to prove to some of the popular chefs. This came across as arrogance, especially in the earlier episodes of Season 5. But once he settled down and concentrated on his cooking, he and Ramsay eventually ended butting heads, and he was also selected as the winner. Dave Levy Well, considered as the most popular Hell's Kitchen winner, Dave Levy took the top prize in Season 6. He continued to compete after he broke his wrist before filming and cooked the food for the rest of the season with one hand. If he could win such a challenging cooking contest with one hand tied behind his back, then we can just imagine how good he would have been if he would be using his both hands. Ariel Contreras Fox Ariel Contreras Fox was seen on Hell's Kitchen in Season 6 when she finished in third place, but returned for Season 18, which pitted HK veterans against a team of rookies. Ramsay was full of respect after seeing how much Contreras Fox had improved in the 10 years since she first appeared on the show. She turned down the prize of an executive chef position at Ramsay's restaurant in Caesar's Palace, but was a kind winner and also claimed that she would be happy to offer the finalist Nina a job if she ever had an opening. Megan Gill Gordon Ramsay was filled with gratitude for Megan Gill, who was the winner of season 14 of Hell's Kitchen. She created some amazing dishes in the kitchen while showing the kind of strong discipline that Ramsay himself was proud of. Megan's prize for winning this series was a job at Chef Ramsay's restaurant at Caesars Atlantic City, and she has continued to work at the very highest level ever since. Latasha McCutcheon Latasha McCutcheon was another young chef whom Ramsay praised for her ability to mix and match flavors. She enjoyed a stunning run on the way to winning the top award in season 13 of Hell's Kitchen, and getting to the final without ever being nominated for elimination. Latasha was also a real team player, which is something rare on reality TV competitions, backing up her friends when mistakes were made while keeping everyone's spirits up when things went wrong. Michelle Tribble Michelle Tribble also needed two bites of the Hell's Kitchen cherry before she earned her win. After finishing third in season 14, Tribble returned to the show in season 17 when she was joined by other old participants in an all-star special. Beating a group of selected and experienced chefs was a great achievement for Michelle, whose prize was the head chef position at Ramsay's restaurant in Caesar's Palace, Las Vegas. Christina Matchinger When she first started on season 4, Christine Matchinger was just 25 years old and one of the least trained chefs in Hell's Kitchen in that year. Despite knowing about an experience disadvantage, she worked hard and took on board every lesson Chef Ramsay dished out before taking what would have been a shocking win at the start of the series. Matt Schamer has since made a career move from food to wine for managing a vineyard in Napa Valley. However, she has also made a few appearances on Hell's Kitchen as a guest diner. Scott Cummings Season 12 winner Scott Cummings was not only an incredible chef, but he also had a real eye for detail when it came to plating up dishes. It is a popular fact that diners eat with their eyes, so this was a technique that Gordon Ramsay was always quick to applaud. Scott faced a few complicated moments throughout his season on Hell's Kitchen, but he showed courage and determination to fight back and take the top prize, which was a job at the Gordon Ramsay Pub and Grill in Caesar's Palace. Christina Wilson Hell's Kitchen has generally believed that Christina Wilson is the best chef to ever appear on the show, and it looks like Gordon Ramsay agrees with them, as Wilson has been a longtime collaborator of Ramsay since she won the show in Season 10. She has appeared in other Ramsay TV shows, along with being invited back to appear on Hell's Kitchen as a sous chef for the teams on three occasions, and eventually becoming an executive chef 
for Ramsay's entire Las Vegas restaurants. All right, that's it for today. We will see you in our next video. Thanks for watching.